jump from Windows 10 to Windows 11, they're only going to give you 10 days to make up your mind as to whether you want to roll back to 10 or stick around on 11. Well, today I'm going to show you two very easy ways to extend that 10 day grace period to 60 days. Let's jump right in. Before we get into the demo, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you haven't seen the video where I upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and then I roll back from Windows 11 to Windows 10, check that out. I'll link it in a card right now. All right, let's get it. You will need to do this before the recovery period ends. So if you just go to start and search for recovery, you'll see an option here under system recovery that says go back. If that's grayed out, I'm sorry folks, it's too late, you're stuck with Windows 11. You can obviously do a, a install back to 10, but then you're gonna need to copy over all your files and things like that. But as long as that's not grayed out, feel free to proceed with extending your period from 10 to 60 days. All right, the first method I'm gonna show you is using DISM. So go ahead and search for terminal. Make sure you run that as administrator because we're gonna need those escalated privileges here. All right, in your terminal, type the following, DISM space forward slash online space forward slash git hyphen OS uninstall window and hit enter. That completed successfully. Now type DISM space forward slash online space forward slash set hyphen OS uninstall window space forward slash value colon 60. This will set it to 60 days for that rollback period, guys. And that is the max you can do is 60. You can do anywhere from 10 to 60. That completed successfully. So that's the first method. You're all set. All you need to do at that point is reboot. But I'm going to show you a second method as well. And we're going to see kind of what that first method did. So go ahead and go to reg edit, which is our registry editor. It'll prompt you for UAC, accept that. I'm also gonna show you real quick, guys, how to back up your entire registry. I know a lot of people can be hesitant when modifying the registry. Um, you know, you really can break things, but for the most part, if you're following instructions and doing things correctly, you don't have a whole lot to worry about, but it is always good practice to go ahead and just do a full backup of that registry before we start hacking into it and making uh, modifications. All right, so if you go to file, and click on export. See that little radio button at the bottom there that says all? That's gonna dump your entire registry. That's kind of like the easy button. So just name this. I'm gonna call mine full reg backup and use a uh, naming convention with year, month, and date, which is great if you're saving files and you need to know the date and things like that. Go ahead and hit save. I save mine to the desktop, just somewhere easy to find. This will take a second to save. And then we'll come back and make the modifications that we need to. All right, go under H key local machine, drop that down. From there, you're going to want to go to system, drop that one down, and then click on the setup folder or the setup hive. In here, you're going to see that we already have the D word key or value, I should say, of uninstall window. That got created by running the dism command that we ran. So for demo purposes here, I'll just delete that in case you wanna use this method and not use DISM. Either way is basically gonna get you the same thing. So go ahead and right click in there and say new D word value 32, and then go ahead and name it, you guessed it, uninstall window, all one word, case sensitive, no S on the end. Double click it, go to decimal there, the radial button, and then change this to 60. Again, that's the maximum. If you wanna go less than that, you can go anywhere between 10 and 60, but I don't know why you just wouldn't go for the full 60. All right, guys, after you do that, the only thing left to do is reboot the computer and that'll punch that in and now you'll extend your grace period to roll back from 10 to 60 days. Okay, we've rebooted, the OS is back up. We'll just go in and look under recovery again, make sure that's still there and not grayed out. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you a countdown there as far as your uh, recover goes, at least at this level. But just note, as long as it's not grayed out, you do have the option to roll back to Windows 10. Make sure you guys check out the video I did on upgrading from 10 to 11, where I show you step-by-step -step how to do an in-place upgrade absolutely free. Keep your Windows activation. Don't lose any of your files, settings, anything like that, or your applications. Believe it or not, 10 and 11 are built on the same exact code base, so I don't see a lot of 
issues at all when doing upgrades from 10 to 11, as long as you have the hardware that meets the minimum requirements for Windows 11, that is. So I'll link that here. Make sure you guys check that out. In that video, I also show you how to perform that revert back to Windows 10 process. It's very straightforward, but sometimes having a video to follow along with step by step can be helpful and just reassuring when you're walking through those steps. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you got any value out of this or you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. The goal is 10,000 by the end of the year. Definitely need your help to get there. So it's much appreciated if you just gently tap that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a dime, and it really helps me out a lot. All right, guys, I hope you all have a great day. And until the next video, everybody take care.